All right, what's up everybody? I want to show you something cool. We're going to do a little bit different of a video today and I want to show you the whole process of what one of these Ford or Chevy vans go through when they come to Weld Tech Designs in order to get lifted. And what do I have behind me is but a Ford Econoline. This is an A350 and this thing is awesome. This awesome champagne color van. This is going to get our Ocotillo Cruiser kit on it. And what's really neat about this is this is actually a Traverse van. So it's gonna have the build out inside of it. Once we come in here and we can check this out. So it does have the small build up. It's got the pop top on it. That's going to kind of like the OS failure kind of pop top on there. But you can see the big thing that this vehicle is lacking is a ton of ground clearance. So say you have a Traverse, you want to be able to run bigger tires on it. You're going to be able to do that with this Ocotillo Cruiser kit. Um, and that's going to be all the suspension in the front. And then in the rear, we're going to go ahead and do a custom set of springs in the rear of this in order to give it that amazing ride. And yes, that's right. I did say a full custom set of springs. We're not going to do our Adelie's in the rear of this that we're going to do a full custom set on a four inch kit. So that's something that you don't see us do very often. And that's why we wanted to make sure that we just kind of film this and show you guys, Hey, these are some of your options that you can do. If you have one of these awesome traverses, you can see down here that, you know, we're only dealing with about 10 inches of ground clearance down here. So if you're wanting to get to that awesome camp spot, it makes it a little bit more difficult to do so. Not to mention that the, you're really limited by the tire size. We all want to run a bigger tire. Give us that bigger footprint um, that's going to allow us to do a little bit better in the sand, especially if you're going to be run these at a lower tire pressure when you are driving off-road, which you will notice a huge benefit in doing that. Another thing that I want to point out back here is once these things have these skirts on here, you'll notice that the tire really sits in really far. Even if we run a bigger tire on there, you're still not going to get um, that tire really filling up that wheel well and looking nice. So on the back of this, we're going to run an inch and a half wheel spacer on the back of this. So at the same time, whether you're looking to add wheel spacers to your vehicle, I'm going to throw up a card right here and you can watch that video, how to install wheel spacers on your own vehicle and make sure you install them correctly so that you're not breaking studs or having craziness in the back. So make sure you guys check that video out. But enough being said about this super low traverse, dude, it's time to pull this thing in the shop and get crazy. Let's go. What's up guys? All right, this is day two and now we have this traverse done. Um, now you get a chance to see some before how we started this, before we did anything to it. And now after this thing is looking awesome, set of BFG KO2s. So on this, we're running a 265, 75, 16. So we stayed with the 16 inch wheel and just went with a bigger tire. These are the stock wheels that are on this thing. This thing looks really good. We just got to throw the hubcaps on this thing. But other than that, this thing is all done. And as we go to the back of this, we'll see that we did the full custom leafs in the rear of this. So that was one of the big things we wanted to show you guys on this Traverse is doing a full custom set of leafs in the rear, not just adding add leafs with this four inch kit. So, I mean, this thing is looking awesome. So any of you guys that have a Traverse um, and are looking to gain a little bit more ground clearance, this is going to be a great way to do it. 
Um, keep in mind, so this is one option that you can do, um, which is our Ocotillo Cruiser Kit with the custom springs. Um, also, you can do a Baja Grocery Getter on this. So just kind of want to show you guys more options as far as what you can do to your Traverse by Pleasure Way. Um, your van, I mean, we'd love to set you guys up on something like this. Now it's time to, this is the, the good and bad part. We gotta turn it over to the customer because really I just wanna go like drive this thing and have some fun, go camping in it. You know, me and Caden will go like, later guys, we're gonna see ya. We'll be back in a couple days, but um, this thing's awesome. I love it. We'll see you guys next time. Smash that subscribe button. Smash, smash, thumbs up. See ya.